In this lesson, we are going to focus on how to add mixed numbers and fractions together. So let's start with a simple example. 5 and 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7. So how can we add these two together? 5 and 2 sevenths is the same as 5 plus 2 over 7. And so we can add 2 over 7 with 3 over 7 since they have the same denominator. 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7 is 5 over 7. And so 5 plus 5 over 7 can be written as 5 and 5 sevenths. So this is the answer. Let's try a similar example. 3 and 1 fifth plus 3 over 5. So we can expand this mixed number and write it as 3 plus 1 over 5 plus 3 over 5. So let's add these two together. 1 over 5 plus 3 over 5 is 4 over 5. And so the final answer is 3 and 4 fifths. And that's it. So go ahead and work on these example problems. Add 2 and 3 elevenths plus 5 over 11. And then try these as well. 3 and 1 9th plus 4 over 9. And finally, 5 and 3 over 13 plus 7 over 13. In the first example, all we need to do really is add these two fractions since they have like denominators. 3 over 11 plus 5 over 11 is 8 over 11. So the final answer is just 2 and 8 over 11. For the second example, all we need to do is add 1 over 9 plus 4 over 9. 1 plus 4 is 5. So this will give us 3 and 5 ninths. And for the final example, we just got to add these two fractions, 3 over 13 plus 7 over 13. And 3 plus 7 is 10. So it's 5 and 10 over 13. And that's it. Now let's work on a similar problem, but slightly different in a way. So let's add 5 and 6 over 7 with 5 over 7. So based on the last examples, we know we can just add these two fractions together. 6 over 7 plus 5 over 7 is 11 over 7. But can we leave our answer like this? Notice that we have an improper fraction. So we need to do something about that. So what should we do with 11 over 7? The best thing to do is to separate this into two smaller fractions. One of which is 7 over 7 because when you divide 7 over 7, it will give you a whole number. Now the difference between 11 and 7 is 4. So that's the remainder or the remaining part of this equation. So you have to make sure that this fraction equals the sum of those two fractions. So now we can divide 7 by 7 and replace it with 1. So at this point, we can add these two numbers. 5 plus 1 is 6. So we have 6 plus 4 over 7, which is equal to 6 and 4 sevenths. So this is the answer. Now let's try this one. 7 and 8 over 9 plus 7 over 9. Go ahead and try that example. So let's begin by adding 8 over 9 with 7 over 9. 8 plus 7 is 15. So once again, we have an improper fraction. So let's rewrite this as 7 plus 15 over 9. Now let's break down this fraction into two smaller fractions. One of which has to be 9 over 9 because that's equal to 1. 15 minus 9 is 6. So the missing fraction has to be 6 over 9. 
9 divided by 9, we can replace that with 1 at this point. And then we have 6 over 9, which we can reduce. But first, let's add 7 and 1 together. 7 plus 1 is 8. Now, 6 over 9, I'm going to rewrite that as 3 times 2 over 3 times 3. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. So I can cancel a 3. And so I have 8 plus 2 over 3, which will give me a final answer of 8 and 2 thirds. And so this is it. For the sake of practice, go ahead and try these two examples. 3 and 4 fifths plus 3 over 5, and also 9 over 11 plus 4 and 8 elevenths. So let's begin by adding 4 over 5 and 3 over 5. 4 over 5 plus 3 over 5 is 7 over 5. Now let's break down 7 over 5 as 5 over 5 and 7 minus 5 is 2. So the missing part will be 2 over 5. Now 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we're going to have 3 plus 1 plus 2 over 5. And so let's go ahead and add 3 plus 1. So that's going to be 4. So we have 4 and 2 over 5, which will give us a final answer of 4 and 2 fifths. And so that's it for that problem. Now let's move on to the next one. So let's add 9 over 11 plus 8 over 11. 9 plus 8 is 17. So we're going to have 4 plus 17 over 11. And so we need to break this down to 4 plus 11 over 11. And 17 minus 11 is 6. So the missing fraction will be 6 over 11. 11 over 11 is 1. And 4 plus 1 is 5. So we're going to have 5 plus 6 over 11, which is 5 and 6 elevenths. And that's it for that problem. Now let's add 3 and 4 fifths with 2 over 3. So this time we're adding a mixed number and a fraction that have a different denominator. So what do we do in this case? Well first let's expand the mixed number. So we need to add these two fractions. However, we need to get common denominators. So the common denominator of 5 and 3 is 15. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 3 over 3. Now for the second fraction, I'm going to multiply it by 5 over 5. So 4 times 3 that's 12 and 5 times 3 is 15 2 times 5 is 10 and 3 times 5 is 15 so now at this point I can add these two fractions 12 over 15 plus 10 over 15 is 22 over 15 now I have an improper fraction so I need to do something about that So let's decompose the improper fraction into two smaller fractions, one of which is going to be 15 over 15. 22 minus 15 is 7. So the missing fraction is going to be 7 over 15. Now 15 divided by 15 is 1. And 3 plus 1 is 4. So this is going to be 4 plus 7 over 15 which will give me the final answer of 4 and 7 fifteenths. And that's it. Go ahead and try this problem. 5 and 1 fourth plus 1 over 3. 3. So we need to add these two fractions. And once again, we need to get common denominators. So 4 times 3 is 12. We need a common denominator of 12. So I'm going to multiply 1 over 4 by 3 over 3, and 1 over 3 by 4 over 4. 
So 1 fourth times 3 over 3, that's going to be 3 over 12. And 1 third times 4 over 4 is going to be 4 over 12. So now I can add these two fractions. And so 3 over 12 plus 4 over 12 is 7 over 12. So my final answer is 5 and 7 twelfths. By the way, if you want more examples on, let's say, fractions and mixed numbers, check out the description section of this video. And uh, you can find uh, other videos on fractions and mixed numbers if you want more practice problems. Now let's move on to our final example. 7 and 5 6 plus 3 over 4. So we can write this as 7 plus 5 over 6 plus 3 over 4. Now, in order to add these two fractions, we need to get common denominators. Now, you can multiply 6 and 4 and get 24. If you decide to use 24 as a common denominator, it can work, but you're going to have to simplify the fraction because 24 is not the least common multiple of 6 and 4. The least common multiple is going to be 12. 12 is the least common multiple of 6 and 4. 24 is another multiple, but it's not the lowest. But you can use 24 or 12 to get the same answer. But let's use 12. So I'm going to multiply the first fraction, 5 over 6, by 2 over 2. And the second one by 3 over 3. If you're wondering how I'm getting these numbers, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So that's why I multiply that fraction by 2 over 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and that's why I multiplied the second fraction by 3 over 3, just in case you were wondering. 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 2 is 12, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12. So now we can add these two fractions. And so 10 plus 9, that's going to be 19. Nineteen over twelve, I'm gonna write that as twelve over twelve, and nineteen minus twelve is seven, so the missing fraction will be seven over twelve. Twelve divided by twelve is one, so I'm gonna have seven plus one plus seven over twelve. And now we can add seven and one together. So seven plus one is eight. So this is eight plus seven over twelves, which gives me the final answer of eight and 7 12s. And so that's it for this video.